Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Red Bank Catholic is brought to you by Monmouth Medical Center in Long Branch. It's a rematch in the non-public B State Championship. DePaul Catholic returns to MetLife eager to erase the memory of last year's 13-8 loss to RBC in the state finals. Sabino Portella and the Caseys are the defending champ looking to repeat for the first time in school history. A miscue on a punt gives RBC the first points of the game. Justin Lamort with a 21-yard field goal. Early in the second, it's a 3-0 Casey's lead. RBC controlled the time of possession and turned to Portella to grind out tough yards. This a gain of 15, it would lead to this. Sabino Portella from four yards out. He bowls his way into the paint. 4-10 to go in the half. RBC in control, up 10 to nothing but DePaul gets right back into the game. Jaden Johnson with a big return here. The Spartans get some good field position at the 40. On the very next play, freshman quarterback Derek Zamet throws a dart over the middle. Des Jones with the grab and he's gone. 60 yards to the house. Just like that, DePaul turns the tide. It's a 10-7 game. And in the closing seconds of the half, DePaul draws even thanks to Luke Montaigne's 29-yard field goal. At the half, we're knotted up at 10. DePaul's defense buckled down in the second half. John Bellotta had a two-sack game. The Spartans force a punt. And RBC looked like they were in big trouble. The snap goes over Vincent Musello's head. But check out this recovery. He not only gets the kick off, but check out this roll. That's a 54-yard punt. Incredible job by Musillo. And a wild play here. Zamet looking to throw. It goes off the helmet, and the freshman QB catches it. A true rarity. I'll tell you what, Derek Zamet is going to be a big name in New Jersey high school football over the next three years. The drive is capped off by Anthony Almeida. He bulldozes his way into the zone. That's a seven-yard touchdown run. From 10-0 down, DePaul takes the lead. We head to the fourth quarter, 17-10 Spartans. In the fourth, RBC forced a punt from its own end zone, and it's blocked! Steven Fiorentino, the sophomore, lays out, and the ball goes out of the end zone. That's a safety and a critical two points for DePaul. Take another look. Special teams was so huge for DePaul in this game. Fiorentino isn't in danger of roughing the kicker. That's beautiful form. He's able to get his hands on the football and it flies out of the end zone. 7-18 to go. The lead for DePaul is up to nine at 19 to 10. RBC rallies. The Casey's open up the passing game and it pays off. Robert Stolfer from 10 yards. He touches the pylon and there's the call. 322 to go. We've got a 1917 ball game. The Caseys were able to get the ball back, needing a field goal to win back-to-back -back state titles, but DePaul's defense was unflappable in crunch time. Lucas Young with the sack here, one of four for the DePaul defense, and the Spartans are back on top in non-public B football in New Jersey. The celebration is spirited and raucous after last year's heartbreak, and oh man, head coach Nick Campanelli bloodied in the post-game melee. He looks like Ric Flair coming off a pay-per-view. But you know he's Jersey tough and was healing just fine after a quick assist from the trainer. For the eighth time in school history, DePaul Catholic is a state football champion. 19 to 17 is your final. DePaul overcame an 0 and 3 start to win six of its last seven. And in this game, from 10 nothing down, the Spartans once again were able to overcome. Steven Fiorentino's safety proved to be the difference in this fantastic football game. Neri Rodriguez caught up with a sophomore after the Spartan state title win. Okay, I'm here with Steven Fiorandino who made the game winning block punt. Steve, tell me, uh, what was going through your mind on that play? What did you see? Honestly, I was ready to get after it. Uh, it was the first time he ran it all game, and I was ready to block it because we held off on it in the beginning of the game. But honestly, I think it was the perfect moment, especially in the end zone, to win the game, really. So much adversity this team fought through all year, you know, changing quarterbacks. What does it mean that that play really just kind of was the deciding factor in this game? Honestly, I don't even have words because I, I, I was waiting for all season and the fact that it happened in the end zone to win a uh, state championship is just crazy. Yeah, you know, sometimes it takes every member of the team to win something. But did you, did you, when you woke up this morning, did you think you were going to make the game winning play today? I was dreaming for it. I was dreaming for it, but 
I, I don't know if it was going to happen or not, but it happened. Adversity has kind of been the theme for us all year long, and we hit it again today, down 10 nothing, and uh, we just banded together and fought back the same way we did all year long, and that's why I, I couldn't be prouder of this group, man. I really so so happy to send these seniors out on top. They've been through a lot. In one minute, I'm celebrating. Next minute, I, my head split open, but we'll take it, man. We'll take a win is a win. We'll take it any way we can get it. We knew the game wasn't over. We never put our heads down. We just kept fighting. That's all we said at halftime. Put your heads down. Just keep going. This game is never going to be over until we walk off this field with the trophy. And that's exactly what happened. I mean, it's awesome, and it's even better for the seniors that are going out this year. I, I wanted to do it for them, so we're going to come back next year. We're going to enjoy this right now, but we're going to come back next year, and we're going to win another one. Congratulations to DePaul Catholic 2022 non-public B state champs. From MetLife Stadium, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.